Hey, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on? It's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, having a, a child, for all y'all that already know that have children, uh, nothing goes as planned. I meant to have many videos out already, uh, but you got to do the father thing first. And every time I think, hey, I got some free time, I can do some videos, do some editing, whatever, uh, something comes up. But I wanted to get something out real quick. Uh, as y'all can see, my hair is in starter locks. Yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and start this journey on doing dreadlocks or locks for those who don't like to call them dreadlocks, uh, locks. Um, I've been thinking about it for quite some time. I, I think I told you once in uh, one of my videos uh, years ago I had dreadlocks for a little while and uh, before I went into law enforcement and I cut them off obviously because you can't have them at least where uh, I live you can't have dreadlocks if you're in law enforcement so I had to cut them off but the reason I decided to go um, back and try dreadlocks this time is because I was experiencing some uh, some breakage and stuff uh, rain, mainly around here in the front part of my head and I know what that's uh, what to contribute that to and that's to uh, do rags uh, before I started getting my hair braided, obviously I just wore it out in the afro. Um, and the fronts of my hair around my hairline was growing fine. It was no problems, no issues at all. But once I started getting my hair braided, I started wearing do-rags to keep the braids looking neat. And thinking about it, uh, I used to wear the do-rags real, real tight. And I guess mainly to keep the hair, you know, I guess laid down and keep it looking fresh and stuff all the way through but what that was also doing was causing damage too much tension on the uh, the fronts of my head around the edges of the hairline and that was causing uh, damage that was causing breakage and things of that nature so uh, so had those issues that set back and I talked to you before in a previous video about uh, about uh, me not drinking the right amount of water that I should have been doing and that caused a little bit of breakage from dryness so I've got kind of got that under control and everything now but I decided to go ahead on with the locks because one thing that locks does is it retains your shedded hair and in theory, the way I look at it as if your shedded hair is being entangled into the shaft of the lock, all that is going to do is reinforce the, the lock itself, the, the shaft of the lock. Uh, also, uh, dreadlocks or locks is a very, very, very low maintenance style. Until you get it re-twisted, there's really no manipulation to the hair unless you style your hair whatever blah 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 but it's still then most times the styles that you do with dreadlocks are not uh, really high maintenance or high manipulation so I think that will also help with uh, hair growth and everything because I think I've told y'all before I want my hair to eventually be able to sweep the ground touch the ground so the at the rate I was going uh, that wasn't going to happen because I, I mean I was having a little many too many setbacks. Uh, my my braider is the same person now that's going to be doing my locks. Locks was her her first love is her first love and it's the main thing that she's been doing the longest other than other hairstyles. So I talked with her. She said she think it'd be good also for me to have my hair locked. Uh, it would help my hair be a little bit healthier and help it grow um, better and retain length better. Also, she said that my scalp looked good, didn't have any like scalp issues, and uh, that my follicles and everything was still intact. So I know uh, from, from that and the fact that my hair is still growing, even though 
I was having a little issues with uh, breakage, like I said, from the do-rag and some things of that nature, tying it down too much or too tight. Uh, I know it's not balding or anything like that. So we're going to give this a try. Uh, so big shout out to the lock community. I'm going to try to join this game, this lock game. And uh, I'm going to try to get as many videos as possible up um, as soon as possible. Um, this will be the first video to the lock game. Uh, and I'm, my baby's now approaching four months. Uh, he's three months now. He's approaching uh, four months. He'll be four months on the 20th of July of this month. So uh, he's getting a lot better. Uh, he actually hasn't been in any issues or anything. He doesn't really cry at all. Uh, he sleeps through the night. He's just now starting to tease, so we're kind of dealing with that. But so far, so good. Uh, everything about being a father, I'm loving every moment of it. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a blessing. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Um, I'm hitting about six minutes now. I don't want it to keep it too long, but this is the hair. If you can see that, I don't know if it's too bright out here. I think you should be able to see it. Pretty good. And like I said, I was having a little issues right here toward the front. And those, that's where the shortest locks are. But it's also one of the areas where my hair grows the fastest. Now, the back of my hair uh, is right now is the longest, the back of the hair and on the side. But uh, I'm going to in incorporate biotin, which biotin is one of your best uh, natural hair growth uh, supplements. Uh, I'm going to probably start using uh, saw palmetto. That's extremely good for growing hair because it is a, uh, basically it's an estrogen blocker. Uh, so it frees up more testosterone so you have more uh, uh, protein and nutrients get into your hair so it help with hair growth and uh, obviously continue to drinking more and more water and I'm going to increase my uh, intake of salads and stuff like that uh, raw natural uh, organic fruits and vegetables that way uh, I take care of the inside of my body and it will reflect on the outside of my body but yeah that's that's what I'm working with right now I started this lock journey. Uh, thank you to all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, uh, sticking there with me. Uh, got more videos coming. Definitely more videos coming. Uh, my lock journey. Uh, for those who don't know, I've been natural growing my hair out for four years. Uh, one thing I can't say, my hair is a lot longer than what it appears here, but. Obviously, when you take something like uh, your hair and you twist it real tight, she did what's called the uh, comb uh, twist method. And that tight just really, really twists the hair up tight. So it, it looks short, but it's, it's actually not real short. But in, in order to increase or make that um, what would be a dreadlock, uh, firm and nice and uh, uniform you want the twist to be tight and you want it to be uh, uniform throughout the whole shaft that way as it grows and you get your retwist and everything the hair will stay strong it'll stay healthy and uh, it will lock and tangle in a uniform way but yeah well I keep getting some videos coming in and out uh, I'm gonna try to do at least uh, one a week. I want to, you know, chart my my experience. Uh, so yeah, sticking there with me. I appreciate it. I'm out.